Life Matters. the World Wide Web. Faith Matters with Luke on Genesis Christian Radio. This is Luke Murphy on Genesis Christian Radio. You've tuned in for Faith Matters. Welcome. Faith Matters on GCR with Luke Murphy. In the studio, we have an absolute privilege to have Raul Dolly Vera, trumpeter, percussionist, international, performing around the world. And here he is in Genesis Christian Studio. Welcome. Thank you. Well, it's fantastic to have you on uh, in the studio. So pleased, delighted. I'm um, being on the internet, seeing your music. Really, uh, it's, it's just an absolute delight. And of course, Raul is, uh, is born again Christian, has a lovely love uh, for the Lord. And of course, you make uh, music for him, don't you? Mm. Yes, yes, mm. very much. It wasn't uh, always like that, but something happened, which, yeah, would change my outlook to life and to the way you're playing as well. Now, tell me, you've got some live music coming up in the studio, wonderful with the trumpet, with the cello, with the djembe, all sorts of things. It's going to be a wonderful time. I think it would be wonderful to see, appreciate the first song that we just heard. What was the, the first track? Uh, the Feast. Yes, The Feast. Yes. Wonderful, The Feast. Feast again after playing it uh, as we came into the program, and it's a wonderful, wonderful song, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it was amazing because it was um, one take uh, in the recording studio, and uh, yeah, I mean, the rhythm and everything was just um, it came together as uh, only God <laughs> knows how to do. Amen. Yeah. Now, Raul, when did you first pick up your first instrument? Mm, many years ago. And uh, the, to be honest, the, my first instrument was cello in the Conservatoire in, uh, in Portugal. And then uh, came the piano and then the trumpet. But uh, the cello was the first one. And at what age did you pick up the trumpet, which what you're most well renowned for? I would think probably between 12 and 14, yes. Yeah. 12, about 12. Okay. Yes. And now you're what, 21 years old? <laughs> 27. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. I think perhaps our listeners, of course, jazz is your is your main item as of music, isn't it? The jazz style. Well, actually, uh, it being cello, my first instrument, so it was classical. I was trained classically, and war is a very, very important uh, college of uh, music that uh, does not uh, would not allow us to uh, play jazz. I say so. Very, very classical, just classical. Yeah, and jazz came later. Actually, there's a, a funny story that uh, I just finished a, a concert um, with the symphony orchestra and went to see um, my brother <clears throat> uh, in, a, in a club where he had a band. And uh, so they decided to um, ask me to play a, a song. I don't know, it was uh, Robert, something like Rise or something. There, there was a, a tune very popular. And uh, they said, play it. No, no, because the teacher said, no, the trumpet is just for classical. Don't mm. don't even entertain uh, yourself with the uh, jazz because that alters the, the the attitude of playing. No, no. But they they pulled the trumpet out of the case and um, well, I played it and wow, and everybody applauded and was in a kind of relaxed sort of a, a fashion that we didn't have in the classical. So from then on, I start to play pop music, jazz, whatever. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, yeah, but, uh, I was the wow. first branch out from the, the wonderful classical music. Now you've traveled around the world, can you uh, maybe say some of the, obviously you, you first uh, traveled around the world, but what would be one of the uh, bigger well-known people that perhaps people would know that uh, you've uh, played with? 
Mm. Well, I started very young as well, uh, traveling around the world. As you said, my first um, first time out of Portugal was um, I was about seventeen, I think, and it was to do um, a week of uh, television in uh, Frankfurt in Germany okay. with uh, the top uh, top group um, Portuguese group and um, then things of course um, speed up and uh, I fell in love with the delightful lady but she's uh, been British I came over to just get married and go back mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah the, there was uh, someone had a different plan and I think you, you yeah. went all the way and you've, uh, you've toured with um... yeah and then uh, of course uh, I and yeah, it's a long story the how it became to be invited to play in this uh, club where many stars, many artists um, used to come. And uh, so I started to record. And then uh, the producer, the, the George Michael, just came out of school with Andrew Ridgely. And uh, he, he needed a trumpet player, so they invited me mm. uh, to be part of the first half. Play with Lamb, that was his group, wasn't it? Yeah, That's yeah, an amazing fun. group. Yeah, and um, and I mean Joe Jackson, Roy again, uh, Three Big Greens, even Cliff Richard, mm -hmm. and uh, recording with many others. But uh, Elton John, yeah, did, uh, two years with, with Elton in the tour of um, all over the world a few times. Mm. And um, yeah, it was interesting with um, uh, George Michael after the concert, doing uh, the second leg of the tour this time in England. Having been to the States and uh, came back to England, I found a, a book in a hotel room. The manager was taking a bit too long to take us to the restaurant. I just relaxed, stretched my arm and uh, opened that book. And uh, the words were, <laughs> that I read was, I will sing and make music to the Lord. Well, singing and making music was, yeah, it was, it was uh, what I was doing and enjoying it, but uh, to the Lord. And that, yeah, that had an impact. We'll pause right now. We're going to come more into your testimony. I think it's time to actually play another one of your songs. Go to one of the ones which is an all-consuming fire. Okay.
wonderful. Wow, that's amazing. So you've you've toured around, and of course, the trumpet is what you're best known for, isn't it? Trumpet and percussion. Mm. Um, and what what do you do with the trumpet? Why is it special to you? Well, I mean, since I found that that book, which um, it says all good gifts comes from the Father of Lights, mm. I begin to understand that you know inspiration comes from above. Mm. And so this particular song that I could play now is called Peace to You, which is practically a prayer. Peace to you, I bless you now in the name of the Lord. Peace to you, I bless you now in the name of the Prince of Peace. Peace to you, and that is what the melody will uh, convey. So listeners on Faith Matters, Genesis Christian Radio, this is, well, peace to you. Thank you for that. Peace to you. A prayer. It's uh, time to meditate. Perhaps put your own words to it. God is amazing because it's Christian radio, so we can openly say the difference between uh, religion and Christianity is the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the paraclete, the one that is with us. It's like I find that, I call it, if I may, uh, look, I'm excited because <laughs> when I found that Bible in the hotel room, I begin to understand that the Bible is the highway code of life yeah mm -hmm. and but many people to, uh, to read it and then it's confusing it can be confusing but if you have the holy spirit it's the magnifying light it's the light that but it highlights the, the the meaning of the word from the beginning to the end the holy spirit was there in the beginning was darkness and the um, the spirit was hovering over the water so the, the lord spoke let there be light and in the end it says the spirit and the bride say, come, wow. So within, from the first page to the last page, the Holy Spirit is there. And that's the, the, the relationship that we will have uh, with God through the Holy Spirit. Now, I was um, doing a gig in London, and on the way down, and I, I just had this wonderful, well, people say apparition, but has a wonderful impression of the Holy Spirit all around me. And that just gave me this song, The Spirit Came. Wow. Until you play this at clubs and you play this at uh, events and things, you have to have to go down. Wonderful. I mean, you can play it now and let the, the people the and say how they feel. The Spirit Came. This is The Spirit Came on Roland's album, which is called Let the Trumpet Sound.
thank you for that lovely lovely song uh we really appreciate uh, the the texture and the music is just so smooth and so thought out isn't it it's it's, it's quite emotional really mm. it captivates and it sort of draws you in um and takes you beyond yeah beyond the clouds into the heavenlies isn't it wow well, yeah this is where it came wow where he comes from yeah that's right that's right <laughs> So as you uh, going back to your touring and things, you obviously with um, with uh, George Michael you mentioned uh, on tour, and I believe that um, it was that was the tour that you became a born again Christian. Well, indeed. Tell us more. Well, uh, as I mentioned, we uh, we finished the concert and we went to the hotel to shower and change and wait for the manager to take us to the restaurant. And this time he was um, taking the long and uh, uh, I mentioned before that I uh, this book by the bedside table uh, attracted my, my attention and um, I just uh, picked it up and uh, I read it um, the first words meaning were I will sing and make music to the Lord uh, that had some, an amazing impact uh, in my being that I took it with me mm. Uh, not realizing that one day I just uh, more recently uh, fell open on the first page and it says, please do not remove. <clears throat> so I called uh, the, the Gideons and uh, thanked them for the work they've done in leaving the, the, the book. Uh, but I uh, just had to apologize that I borrowed uh, the, one of their books and uh, I would like to return it. But they uh, invited me to, uh, to uh, their garden party and uh, now I'm um, a member. Of the beginning, but meanwhile, that book um, was found at the right time with a purpose because, uh, as I uh, reading, I continued to, to read from that uh, psalm, which was uh, Psalm 27. I went to, to China, uh, so in the hotel room, something very out of the ordinary happened. I was even, I mean, things were, were happening like. Also, guys, I mean, things that you can, I used to see it in uh, spooky films and used to laugh about it. But uh, this time was, it was present, it was in front of me. Uh, things were moving and uh, I couldn't, um, I couldn't put my finger on it. So panic and fear and uh, it was a commotion. So I put my hands together and I screamed, Lord, help me. And there's an answer to this prayer came upon me in a circle of fire and the positive peace and joy that is still with me today and no one can take it away because no one put it there but once a, a verse of the, that psalm that jumped, I meditated all night that it says wait for the Lord be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord be strong and take courage and wait for the Lord meditate on the, all night all night in the morning uh, uh, can I carry on? Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. You know, in the morning, I went downstairs. Now, that pretty time in China was like a billion bicycles. I mean, you, you saw piles of bicycles everywhere. And the, the three lanes for bicycles. One little lane for cars, mainly taxis. Well, I came down uh, my room first thing in the morning. I went to, to this taxi. Uh, just asked the lady to, it was actually a lady driver. Uh, and I asked her to take me to, to a church, but uh, she couldn't speak uh, English. My uh, ch uh, Chinese was like zilch. So I uh, uh, draw a church and she went around the block and eventually we found a church. And she said, uh, I, go home. We got, I felt this is it. And I said, well, will you please go and uh, find out? And she looked and came back, oh, mama, mama, meaning uh, it's closed. Well, I mean, I said, well, take me to another one. She drove and row and row and now we found it. and the huge gate with a little door and she went through so did i and there was a pastor a pastor a chinese pastor um quite, quite elderly and he pointed at me and he said christian no catholic christian and i said christian and he uh, there he, he prayed with me and uh, something was happening that maybe some of the listeners are feeling uh, discomfort, fear, and you know, it, it's, a, 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 it's a fact that we need faith. It, not just faith matters, it's a matter of faith. And uh, so suddenly um, it, it released me from things that were heavy and, and I couldn't explain and was through tears. So then uh, you did another concert with George Michael? 
But then when I went to the hotel, I still read that psalm that it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my mm -hmm. life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You know, so the, the Lord is with us. Yes, that must have been very powerful for you. You're headlining all around the world. You were obviously feeling good about yourself. Yeah, well, my name came in the front page of every newspaper and title announcement. It was like, uh, because of what happened next, we were going to the next uh, city. On the plane, I heard a voice saying, you're going to die. Why don't you kill yourself? Wow. And uh, somehow, uh, that voice was appealing to me, so I was going to obey it by pulling out a uh, pen knife and uh, trying to uh, use it in my stomach. But the power of God uh, will not allow it. And so um, my name came on the front page of uh, all the tabloids in the world. But glory to God. Faith matters, and it mattered to you, didn't it? So it must have been quite a stirring. Uh time in your life to be touring, to be playing, headlining, um, and then you found yourself wanting to commit suicide on the plane. Well, uh, of course, God intervened because no, no one else could, could have uh, done that. Because God has a plan for you. Mm. They have a plan for us. And it's a plan that uh, Job says, God, you can do all things and no plan of yours can ever be thwarted can never be frustrated, can never be stopped, because it's your plan, it's God's plan. And the plan he has for us, as you know, is um, to uh, give us hope in the future, is to build us up and not to tear us down. And I believe the people that are listening to this program right now, that they are, their questions, they, they listen, faith matters, faith matters, faith matters, but it's a matter of faith. Mm. Okay. You have to have faith by even just saying, I mean, it doesn't matter how you feel, by saying, I believe. I, well, can I tell you this? Look, I went to Japan touring with a, another um, uh, band, uh, the Japanese number one band. And um, in the middle of the tour, the, found some friends and they took me to, to the, the in-laws. They are very hospitable. Yeah. Now, this particular lady is 84 years old. As soon as I entered the house, she began to uh, prepare um, a table for, for, for me. And I said, well, well, what's the matter? But she was bent, a little bent. And said, oh, five years uh, ago, she um, uh, fell and uh, hit the bottom of the spine. And uh, it's bent like that. Now, you see, in Japan, you probably know, mm -hmm. but uh, you can quote me, they have eight million gods. Eight million. And this lady, uh, I, I told her, well, there's one God that can heal, but his name is Jesus, but you must believe. That is the only thing you must do. You must believe. And suddenly she goes, Ashkata Kokoya, Ashkata You said, well, what, what is she saying? Oh, I believe. I believe. And she the, uh, entrusted her life to Jesus. So she allowed the Holy Spirit to come upon her as she was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And uh, two weeks later, her daughter came to see the concert and she said, my mother is so filled with energy. They call energy the power of the Holy Spirit. I wonder if you would uh, sing a song for us. I know you're not normally a singer, are you? But uh, I think if you can, it would be wonderful. Well, you see, I'm talking about someone that I found. Many people sing the song, but what a friend I found. Yeah. I mean, I would like to see that. Faith matters. 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 It's impossible to please God without faith. Faith matters with Luke on GCR. Faith matters. Hello. My name is Raul Oliveira and I am playing and singing in the Genesis Christian Radio Studio. What a friend I found.
a friend I found Closer than a brother I have felt your touch More intimate than lovers Jesus 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 Friend for What a friend I've found. Wonderful. Thank you for that. Mm. And you're not normally a singer. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, people have been trying to uh, make me sing. I, I mean, as you say, we all have a voice. And uh, so it's the natural instrument. And we should use it. Yes. Because it's, um, yeah, I mean, and when you do, you, uh, you have to realize that um, there's more to it than meets the eye, because faith matters. But uh, faith in what? And there's faith in him. Through us, he does an amazing thing. I mean, I, I don't consider myself a singer, but I, I love singing. So um, I hope you enjoy that. Absolutely. Thank you for that. There's um, a script there, which is very special to you. But this one in, in uh, Ephesians, I mean, it explains to me what I went through. I was struggling. I was, I was you know, what really was happening until I couldn't, I couldn't share openly as I'm doing with you now uh, and with our listeners. I couldn't share so openly until I found this scripture that says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Whoever is listening, if you're going through a struggle, it's not against people. And that just uh, released such a, a comfort of, oh, now I know. I went through a struggle, but was not against flesh and blood, was against rulers, powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. He's a mouthful, but that was the explanation of what I went through in that room uh, in, uh, in China. So remember, whatever you're going through, just believe, have faith, and don't be angry with people. You know, but one thing we cannot afford mm. is to be upset. Yeah. Never be upset because offense cuts it. Mm. You know, if God has, has forgiven me, how dare I not forgive whoever hurts me? Actually, I'm, I'm encouraged when I read the, the word that, that uh, the Lord says now, bless those who curse you. Forgive those who upset you. And get, are you ready? Yeah. Love those who hate you. I know none of the listeners are in this position, but <laughs> it, it, you know, to be able to love those who hate you, wow, isn't that amazing? It that is. we can do it yeah. by the grace of God. What an amazing Thank grace. You for that. Well, I think this is a great opportunity to come back to one of your tracks by Graham Kendrick, a song which you played on. Yeah, actually, uh, Graham, I mean, there's been a tremendous influence he's the most humble worship leader that i've uh, ever met um i've been with him quite a, a few years actually one time he asked me to uh, if he could introduce me to the uh, congregation it was about five thousand people and uh, i said yeah and he said the ladies and gentlemen here are round of trumpet player round of applause he says no the, his identity is the trumpet and so he asked me to uh, lay it down a few minutes later he asked everyone uh, let the holy spirit speak uh, when you lay something down, you know that, like Moses, uh, when he met God, God said, what is in your hand? Wait, God, in your hand, lay it down. And that's what we should all do. Don't trust in, in, uh, in anything else but God alone. So put, lay everything down. And as we did, we just uh, wrote this song, you keep the banner flying high. 
and he's an amazing guy. There's also a trumpet solo, so he's worth a listen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus be my vision Oh The passion and the fire in my soul Who keep the banner flying high The banner flying high In the valley of shadow trumpet we can rejoice and the lord had said that what well, would be your message to worship leaders listening to this from churches and people who play in, in worship groups what was your message to them mm. wow well i've got a motto that the lord has put in my heart now for a while and it is um, <clears throat> as it is in heaven because what they taught us how to pray you know our father who is in heaven hallowed be thy name like in the of them on earth as it is in heaven. So don't complicate it too much. Well, actually, if possible, cut out the entertainment. I mean, it's great to have a praise party, you pee, lovely, but worship is slightly different. Yes. Worship should be initiated by the Holy Spirit from God and to God. He's not deaf, you don't have to play too loud. And he, he, he can fill the place with smoke. <laughs> if we let him. Mm. So there's, a, there's quite a few things that suddenly when you go into the horizontal, you get confused and you get distracted. Now keep it vertical. From heaven, he came. And from heaven, he, he, so the simplest, I mean, I love the, the unplugged uh, because then it incorporates everybody. As soon as you start to uh, put too much on the, uh, the stage and, and things around drums, and that, then that separates not only the musician from the band, but people as well. So the congregation begins to uh, look 
and not get so involved. Um, yeah, if you can just keep it simple, as it is in heaven, no frills, no additions, and uh, as God created, he invented all the instruments. And uh, use more brass, don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. And strings now, of course, the cello is, uh, has been quite popular in recent uh, times. But the brass has been a bit forgotten. We yeah. need let the trumpet sound, sound that trumpet inside. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I know I'm biased, but uh, I love the trumpet. But the sound of the trumpet it com communicates. Can even the the, the scripture says when you hear the sound of the trumpet in uh, Nehemiah, if I'm not mistaken, um, gather together and God will fight for us. Uh, and uh, the sound of the trumpet, the walls of Jericho comes down, the barriers could fall down. Yeah. And when he comes, uh, it'll be coming on the sound of the trumpet. When he returns. Oh, come on. Yeah. No, no, no. Now everyone's going to hear that sound. Wow. So we need to be uh, familiar with the sound. So it's like, what was that? We know it's the, the last trumpet. And uh, at the, truth, the last trumpet, you will return. So it's a wonderful instrument, and of course it's scriptural, so might as well. And there's a passage that says there's about 120 uh, trumpet players in playing in unison. Wow! <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Um, well, uh, Dolly Vieira is in his element here. <laughs> I think it's no coincidence at the end of Psalms, the very final Psalm, is this Psalm 150. Mm. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord in His sanctuary! Praise Him in His mighty expanse! Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and pipes. And praise him with loud cymbals. Yes! Praise him with resounding cymbals. Oh, glory. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, as someone who plays the drums in church, I get symbols mentioned twice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, the tambourine in those days would have had a skin on it, so it would have been the drum as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, and uh, isn't that fantastic? You know, finishing the Psalms with those six scriptures, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And isn't that how that's the purpose of us being here on earth? To worship Him, to praise Him, mm -hmm. to lift His name on high. Mm -hmm to acknowledge him as a glorious, a glorious God, a holy God, a God who deserves respect and honour. And it's our lifetime opportunity to be able to find him, reach out to him, mm. and give him the glory. Amen. And you must feel in your heart all the time that you want to talk to him about him, right? Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, bless his holy name, sing like never before, Oh, my soul, and worship his holy name. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's worthy. And and by the way, um, may I give you a bit of a revelation just I've, I had recently? He's yeah. the name of God, Yahweh. Mm. And he's, he's in you because when you go, Yahweh, Yahweh, yes. Yahweh, he's in your breath. You don't have to go anywhere for him. He's in you, he's for you, he's with you. Glory. I feel like screaming. I'm so yeah. happy. Well, praise the Lord. Well, you know what? I think this will be a great opportunity. I like the way that you improvise a lot. Um, Raul plays a few instruments, and um, if you don't, then you have a good try, don't you? <laughs> you pick up anything. <laughs> and uh, you've brought, you brought a few with you on, on my request, and I appreciate that. So let's. Um, Let's uh, get together. Let's pick up our instruments. I've got my djembe drum with me. Right. You've got your cello. Mm. You've got your two trumpets. <laughs> you've got various apparatus that you put inside the uh, the trumpet to make it squeak and make it sound. You've even got like a squeaky drum down there. Shakers. We've got Amos here in the studio as well. Uh, so let's let's do this together and let's uh, let's sing a medley, right? Yeah. Um, how about um, a come we faithful? Amazing Grace, should we, should we split it through and then wow. finish on the swing? Yeah. Okay. That's right, I'll pluck it first. The cello, then the... Sounds awesome. Yeah, Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you so much, so much, so much. That was wonderful. <laughs> we um, we're gonna get the. Uh, I'm gonna put that on uh, the YouTube channel. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll get that on its own as well, uh, so people can look it up. Uh, we've got a little video that we set up um, to be able to record that as well. So you type in Faith Matters GCR on YouTube, you'll be able to find that full version there. Isn't that fantastic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to uh, praise him and uh, listen to that again and again. Guys, do look it up. Look up the YouTube channel. Faith Matters, GCR, and uh, you'll, you'll find it there. Your, your Chesapeake takes you on. You obviously, uh, you, you toured around the world. I mean, this year, where have you been? Any, any countries worth noting? Yeah, I've been to um, Slovakia, mm. um, Hong Kong, and uh, Portugal. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I'll be going to go again. Yeah. To Hong Kong in uh, yeah, November. Shall we say, talk, uh, say something about this? Um, this is quite a lot, really. Yes, sure. Yeah, because what I do is I do a slightly longer version on YouTube channel, and for the hour long, we'll also have a cut down version for the, for the radio program. Okay. So I'm going to do this one. Okay, good. Um, so, here we go. I don't know about you, but it's just so exciting to be able to worship him, to praise him, you know? Uh, we really appreciate you coming on, on to uh, Genesis Christian Radio Studio here um, because our aim is to to um, really encourage, to fulfill, to, to fill people with the scriptures, to really feed people who can't get that elsewhere mm-hmm. um, or to um, just really encourage Christians and also those who are looking out, you know, it's, uh, it's just wonderful. It's, um, see, his word is so precious and it's so... Um, it's our responsibility to be able to get his word out exactly as it is. And sadly, that's lacking isn't it, in so many places. People just don't stand up for the word of God. And Genesis Christian Radio is here to be able to give people that, um, that vital, you know, the, the truth, because it's the truth that will set you free. The truth shall set you free. And, uh, you know, so we praise the Lord for Genesis Christian Radio. And, of course, Faith Matters here is a greater form to be able to bring beyond people like yourself. Do look us up. Do 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 share us with uh, your with your friends on Facebook. Um, please uh, look up our Faith uh, Faith uh, Matters website uh, page on Facebook. That's uh, Faith Matters GCR. Mm-hmm. Now we've got the song called um, Jesus Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Mm-hmm. This is one you recorded with Songs of Praise, isn't it, in Israel? <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done that. It was about uh, two thousand people. It was an amazing. Mm. Um, and actually, maybe we could uh, encourage the, the listeners of uh, joining in because mm-hmm. uh, there's um, a chorus. It was Jesus Christ is Lord. So, Jesus Christ is Lord, He's the Alpha and Omega. Jesus Christ is Lord, He's the Son of God, our Savior. And we do it again. And then Jesus Christ is Lord, He is worthy of our praises. You'll be singing yeah. in between the chorus. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's have fun. All right. Okay. Good. What a great song to end on. Excellent. Mm. 
Well, okay. thank you, thank you, and um, thank for all you. that you're doing. Mm. Um, I, I mean, it's such a, a freedom of, of expression that uh, we know there's no religion attached to the, the freedom of the Holy Spirit. No, no. And uh, so, as you said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one goes to the Father except by me. So um, let's have faith in yeah. Him, because faith matters. Faith matters. Thank you. Thank to the words right in my mouth. Thanks. <laughs>